if I could just ask the players to stay where you are, because obviously it's for a very serious call. We've asked. That's obviously today is about Karen, it's about motor neuron disease, it's about Kathy's family, it's about the Bolton family. So please, can we give a big round of applause for Kathy and the Bolton family? You've been so much to us. Today, in the season of remembrance, we'll think of all those who've lost their lives in sacrificial service for their country. We will remember them. We shall now hold a minute's silence. The All-Stars, incidentally, are wearing the Bolts and away jersey. They're in the yellow shirts, yellow shorts and yellow socks. And the current Bolts inside in the traditional white jerseys, navy shorts and white socks. And Gethin Jones himself making his way towards the centre circle. I think he's going to get his underway. As you can hear the applause ringing around the stadium. Not too sure where he's going to... Now he's, he's aiming towards the all-star lineup, and we're underway here as he knocks the ball to JJ Okocha. Gethin makes his way. Well, I think JJ's going to take a centre himself, actually. He and Stelios hovering over the ball. And of course, it is a fantastic cause as well, I'd urge you all, if you can, to donate. Just giving Paige, I'll give you that shortly. And the players just take the knee. And just seconds away from kick-off here. Blows his whistle and we're underway here between the current Bolton side and the legends. An early touch for Ricardo Gardner. Sam 
if it's to even Campo. Still looks like he can play. Looks like he's kept himself in decent shape as JJ gets on the ball and <laughs> loses out to Josh Sheehan. And he just knocks it back to Matt Zilch. That just giving page, incidentally. So just giving dot com forward slash crowdfunding forward slash Karen uh, hyphen Jones MND. And of course, uh, Derby Rimmer Foundation receiving a chunk of the proceeds as well today. As a, a shot comes in, well, go way, way wide there. Well, you see the movement off them. Uh, still got it in a, nut in a nutshell, this lad. Yeah, the cross comes in by Amici. It might find Senior here at the back post. That's when they try a shot there. He does try a shot. It's blocked. It might fall to Pettifer. And uh, Delfonso knocks it into the back of the net, but he was uh, straight into an offside position. As a big thanks to our Wanderers Live sponsor, Sock Shop Glenmuir, and our charity partner, Urban Outreach. And also to our partners as well as here comes Pettifer who tries a shot that's a tremendous save from Yusuf Yaskalainen tips it away for a corner rolling back the years there the finished and spins into the hands of Yusuf he rolls it out to Stelios who's on his bike Kevin Davis making a run forward will he pick him out and he tries to but he's giving the ball away but well oh, Gavin McCann was nearly in there but here come the All-Star Stelios might get a chance on goal here as Baptiste goes sliding in, as does Senior Stelios gets his shot away and it's straight at Jilks. Oh, what a chance there. That's David Lee, in fact, over the, the far side. There's a number of players that are follically challenged now. Difficult to make them out, but here's a caught shout. Oh, that is uh, absolutely tremendous stuff from the Nigerian. We had uh, Adam Senior in knots there. As a coach again, as Senior tries to get get the ball off him, he just can't do so, and he's just been skinned there. That's it. That's a joy to watch. He's outrageous, Terry Kim. He <laughs> is absolutely outrageous. To see JJ doing this kind of stuff today is phenomenal, isn't it? Well, there's a chance here. He's in the six-yard box. McCann, what a save that is from Matt Jilks. Anthony Yusuf can do it. Jello can do it as well. That's prime Matt that. Jilks. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's prime Matt Jilts, that's Premier League Blackpool Matt Jilts, that is. Um, phenomenal save, that from such close range as well. And uh, yeah, to see JJ doing this kind of stuff in build up is, is what the Bolton fans have paid the money to see. Derek. Gardner plays in McCann again. Baptiste goes into the back, a decision's been made, it's a penalty to the All Stars. And I've got to be honest, I don't think Alex Baptiste can have too many complaints. He just bundled into the back of Gavin McCann. And we've got a penalty situation here. It's going to be in, well, JJ is already making his way towards it penalty spot wow this will be a turn up for the books the All-Stars chance to take the lead yeah, Nicky Hunt also is coming up just to have a little word with GG. there's no way a coach is going to let him take this penalty Big Sam's on the touchline He's having a word with it, the linesman. Here comes Okocha then. He steps up and he, well, I'm not too sure, well, how much uh, jokes made of that to save that. And uh, he allowed Okocha just to roll the ball into the back of the net. Not too sure what's happening here. Jokes is just coming out when he gives the ball to Pettifer. Well, Akocha and Sam Allen, big Sam doing the little dance down below. That's absolutely tremendous. Here's Williams. Delfonso now. Taking on Hunt. And he squares it to Thomason. And eventually the All-Stars defence is breached and George Thomason equalises. That was a super finish that, to be fair. Harlan um, picked out well by Delfonso and... It's almost a striker's finish. Yeah, beautiful. In the end, Baptiste regains possession and he releases Amici and a chance here. Delfonso is square. Here is Delfonso, a chance to put 2 1, Bolton 2 1 up, and he does do so. <laughs> he apologises to the supporters in the ground, Nathan Delfonso. But 
and the current Bolton side have fought back from a goal down and now they lead by two goals to one. Yeah, indeed. If he does that next Wednesday night at, uh, at Edgeley Park, Derek, the Bolton fans will have a completely different reaction to it, I'll tell you. Dash hyphen Jones, MND. Be fantastic if you could donate, no matter how small it is. Here's Pettifer. Thomason in the penalty area then. Delfonso a chance to make it 3-1. He hits the post and it bounces back out towards Gardner. Is it Stelios now? Senior bursting a gut to get back in, get in position. Stelios does well, uses all his experience to shield the ball from the youngster. Here's uh, Okocha now. And the pressure from Pettifer Walls. Ridiculous skills from JJ. Really is a joy to behold watching a guy like that in action. Do you remember watching him much in his in his prime, Derek? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he was uh, tremendous. I've watched him in match the day in Nigeria as well. He was terrific. As it shot comes in from Amici just on the edge of the penalty area, that it's drilled into the corner of the net. And Colson Wanderers are three-one up now on the All-Star Eleven. It's a good finish. It's a very good finish from Zavamechi, and it's his, uh, his first goal for Bolton Wanderers. Hooks it away, and there goes the half-time whistle. Uh, the Bolton Wanderers lead by three goals to one. It is not about the scoreline this afternoon. It's all about raising money for a fantastic cause. But Gigi Okocha opened the scoring from the penalty spot. Just rolled the ball into the back of the net, and we were treated to... The dance with Big Sam as a celebration. George Thomason equalised for Nathan Delfonso. Fired the current balls inside in front. And Zavamichi drilled home the third just from the edge of the penalty area. Paddy McGuinness on the LED screens over on the far side. Just being interviewed uh, just now. We can expect a, a wholesale change, as you'd imagine, in the, in the second half Harlan. And then, I'm excited to see Ian Everett in action. Ian Everett is on, I can tell you, for the uh, the current Bolton Wanderers uh, side. He's came on for Nathan Delfonso. Ricardo Santos is on. Uh, Matthew Tweedley is on there as, as well. Dapo is on on the left-hand side. Uh, and Everett just with, with a touch there. He knocks the ball to the Liam Gordon on this left-hand side. Here's Pettifer to the skipper, Ricardo Santos. There's been a raft of changes for the All-Stars as well. Can you bring you details of that as soon uh, as we can do, as Thomason plays in Amici, looking for his second goal of the afternoon. Back to Ian Everett, who tries ball. Oh, what a goal that is from the manager. Right into the top corner of the net. What a finish that was, Harlan. What a finish from Ian Everett. I'll tell you what, was he a centre-half in his day? Was he or was he not? Um, Ian Everett slightly disappointed as well that the, uh, that the ball didn't come earlier into the right-hand channel. But he, uh, he didn't let that get him down, he waited, he held his, uh, he held his run, he, he held back, he, uh, he waited for the cutback and he's absolutely banged that into the top corner. What a finish from the gaffer and uh, yeah, Owen Doyle, watch your back. There's Nicky Hunt with the ball forward, Davis, McCann. Even Campo. Strokes the ball out to Eagles. Taking on Isgrove, little step over. Eagles tried a shot. Whoa, what a strike that is from Chris Eagles into the corner of the net. And the legends get a goal back here. What a super, super strike from Chris Eagles. What a player he was as well in his day. He's now 35 years of age, so... He'd still cut it. That was a tremendous strike, wasn't it, Harlan? Right in the, like a bullet into the corner of the net there. He was just making his way back. Ricardo Santos giving Lloyd Isgrove uh, an option to go short, but he's went in looking for Ian Everett with the towering header into the back of the net, and he's got to double the manager. Well, what a delivery, but what a finish again from Ian Everett. So maybe time he dusts off the boots, do you think, Harlan? Yeah, no prisoners, Derek. Yeah. Um, Ian Ever 
Memo ripped. Um, absolutely not interested in keeping the score down in this one. Obviously, like we said, the, the charity is the most important thing. But if, if a chance presents itself, you've got to do the old school thing. And as the granddad used to say, put it in the onion bag. And I think that's what he's done there. Here's Lee. And then half real anxious. Eagles busting a gut to get forward. Kevin Davis. Here's Lee again. He's on side. Back to Eagles. Davis is in the box. Oh, a little, what a touch that is, and Eagles strokes it into the back of the net. What a sensational goal that was. Big combination play from Lee Davis, and then Eagles who supplied the finish. And it's now Bolson Wanderers 5, the All-Stars 3. So being replaced, Matty Alexander on now. And I can tell you that replacing Ricardo Gardner was Mike Whitlock. Uh, Matthew Tweedley now. Oh, he releases the Everett. He's in for a hat trick here, Ian Everett. One on one with the goalkeeper. He takes it right of and he strokes it into the back of the net. And he's got his hat trick. And there are played. Lovely pass. And uh, there's only going to be one winner when he was one on one with the goalkeeper. And it's uh, Bolton Wanderers 6, the All Stars 3 what they're seeing in front of their eyes today Derek uh, a lot of goals scored uh, a lot of money raised so far as well like I said I'm excited to see uh, the final figure of that in the, in the, in the coming weeks and um, yeah I mean the gaffer's playing up left wing now I mean it's uh, it's exhibition stuff <laughs> here's, here's Grove now Pettifer oh Everett could be in there for a fourth goal and well AJ Okoch I'm not too sure what he's doing there but he'll look he falls in the ball and Isgrove could be in here. Afalahian, well, fires the ball into the back of the net. And it's now 7-3, but I'm not too sure what A.G. Akutship was doing there. He almost uh, beat himself. Listen to that roar. That's for even Campo. on the field. Corners ripped in by Lee. Headed away by Sam Hurdy's ball is <laughs> referees pointed to the spot. And this will be the opportunity for Super John to roll back the years and take a claim from the white supporters. Surely Matty Alexander's got the memo with this one. Just sure he'd be able to get there anyway. You can see the photographers just sprinting over to get a photo of this as Super John steps up and he strokes the ball into the corner of the net and receives the adulation of the players and everyone inside the University of Bolton Stadium. Absolutely fantastic. Score is now Bolton Wanderers 7, the All Stars 4. Should have got there, Derek. Should have got there, Alexander. There. Forward to Davis. And a chance here, Dimitri. Yeah, a couple of strikes a shot, and he just drags it wide. And there goes the full time whistle. Big Sam emerges from the dugout. Clap the supporters who watched that spectacular feast of football this afternoon. And we can see him on the big screen over on the far side. It's been a tremendous effort from all involved. And of course for a spectacular cause as well, raising money for research into MND. Remember, not just giving websites, justgiving.com forward slash crowdfunding forward slash Karen hyphen Jones MND. 
change in candidate then it would be very much appreciated of course some of the proceeds go to the Derby Rimmer Foundation as well but the scoreline didn't matter it was ended up 7-4 but it was all about coming together on an occasion like this